London uncovered as we are drifting on to a new episode and today we are talking about decoding dreams yes dreams are stories and images that our minds create while we sleep they can be entertaining fun romantic disturbing frightening and they can sometimes be bizarre the word dreams comes from a middle english word d-r-e-m-e which means joy and music dreams occur during certain stages of sleep they are strongest during REM or the rapid eye movement stage when one is less likely to recall his dreams according to Sigmund Freud all dreams are motivated and expressions of wishes for example dreams of food and drink when hungry or thirsty are the direct expressions of wishes arising from organic needs in the Greek and Roman era dreams were seen in a religious context they were believed to be direct messages from the gods or from the dead dream interpretations date back to 3000 to 4000 bc when they were documented on clay tablets for as long as we have been able to talk about our dreams we have been fascinated with them and they have strived to understand them let's look at some of the types of dreams they can be trade dreams, lucid dreams, nightmares, recurring dreams, healing dreams, false awakening dreams, prophetic dreams, signal dreams, epic dreams, progressive dreams, and even mutual dreams. Here are some fascinating facts about dreams. One third of our lives is spent sleeping. In an average lifetime, we would have spent a total of about six years of it dreaming. Five minutes after the end of the dream, half the content is forgotten. After 10 minutes, 90% is lost. People who are in the process of giving up smoking tend to have longer and more intense dreams. And guess what? If you're snoring, then you cannot dream. Studies show that certain dreams are universal and may symbolize hidden emotions and thoughts. Some common dreams include falling, being chased, flying, being in an accident, running, etc. So, in the words of John Lennon, you can say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Morning, Brian. Morning. Tell us, what does dream mean to you? To me, I don't know. I don't really know what dreams are. Um, dreams, I think, are when your when your mind is having its happy time and being, you know, being left on its own and doing its own thing. Um, sometimes I think that you don't remember your dreams, or most of the time you don't. Sometimes you do, and they don't mean anything. Sometimes you remember them later and they give you a sense of deja vu because did it really happen? Did that really happen? I'm not sure. Um, but I think dreams should be part of your happy place and if you have too many sad dreams or bad dreams, go and see the doctor. How do you interpret your dreams? Uh, I try not to. It makes best sense for me. What message would you give to the world? Be happy. Keep smiling. Brian, that was short and sweet. You're brilliant. Thank you. Let's see what Edward has to say about it. Good morning, Edward. Good morning. Tell us, what do dreams mean to you? Dreams, they tell me um, of the future. They tell me what's happening and they tell me what I think is going to happen or not happening. How do you interpret your dreams? I interpret my dreams as something that's good, that's going to happen. 
um, they tell me my future, they tell me oh, if something bad is going to happen, that tells me um, what's going to happen. Basically, I, I, I dream, I live to dream, I dream to live. What message would you give to the world? Keep dreaming, your dreams will come. That was amazing, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Nigel. Good morning, Sanjay. Tell us, what do dreams mean to you? Well, uh, uh, dreams, they can be like taken in two ways. Sometimes uh, they don't mean anything. They're just dreams. And then other times, a uh, dream can uh, convey important information to you. You, know, you can like uh, learn uh, a lot of things from the dream. It can make things that have happened uh, the day before uh, more sensible. And uh, you can like base some decisions on dreams. Uh, other dreams you can't, they're just sort of like random thoughts that are whirring around during the night. So how do you interpret your dreams? Uh, well, uh, it's, it's, uh, if a dream hangs around the next day, uh, then, then yeah, you can learn something from it. Uh, most of the time it doesn't. But uh, yeah, you can learn things from some dreams, I think. What message would you give to the world, Nigel? I would say that uh, if your dream teaches you something, then learn from it. But if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Nigel, that was short and sweet. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Sanjay. Tell us, what do dreams mean to you? What do dreams mean to me? It's a lot of dreams in the Bible, actually, so you'd expect me to talk about those. Obviously, and I think the most famously, is Joseph interpreting the dreams of Pharaoh. And Pharaoh has this dream, he can't work it out. He's like, there's, he has these dreams about seven fat cows. He's like, who has a dream about seven fat cows? And then there's seven thin, nasty cows that eat up the seven fat cows. And Joseph hears that he's had this dream and he says, OK, what that is, is seven years of really great harvest, followed by seven years of famine. Pharaoh, what you need to do is make sure that all that you get in the harvest in the first seven years doesn't disappear in the next seven years. So you have to really bank everything and look after it carefully. So what does Pharaoh do? He makes him in charge of everything and has great success. So the point of that is to say that dreams can be a message from God. Can be a message from God. How do you interpret dreams? That's where we need to be careful because they can be a message from God. Sometimes they can be according to the fact that you had too much cheese on your pizza last night and you slept a bit weird. I also think that you have to be conscious of the fact that I know for me, my dreams are the sort of playground of my imagination where my brain is trying to work out things that logically, sensibly, in a linear fashion, I've really struggled to work out. And so they can be a really healthy place for your brain to go into your subconscious and, uh, and work stuff out for you. 
Um, having said that, there have been times when I know I've had a dream about something and I've woken up and I've gone, I think that was from God and I've prayed about it and then things have happened to show me I was right. That did come from God. So I think you just got to be sensible and turn everything back into prayer. Say, Lord, I had this weird dream last night. Was that you? Uh, could this be something that we talk about together? What message would you give to the world? That God is interested in you. He's interested in the things that worry you, the things that come out in your dreams, the things that keep you awake at night. He's interested in every single part of your life and he loves you. Jimmy, thank you very much. Thanks, Sanjay. It's always a pleasure. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Sanjay. What do dreams mean to you? Uh, dreams are um, a bit of a mystery to me, to be honest. Um, I know some people, they they think that they uh, have a meaning. I know there's certain books written about them. My mum used to uh, have a book about dreams and uh, the meaning of dreams. But for me, uh, when you have a, a lovely dream, the, the feeling stays with you sometimes for hours because um, it's on the periphery of your of your day you know you're thinking back to that that lovely dream you had and the f sensation you had when you woke up so for me that that's the nicest thing I like about dreams um, and then obviously you've got the the flip side of that is nightmares but um, that's maybe for a different uh, subject how do you interpret your dreams um, some, some. I think I've had dreams before, where and and then I've, I've almost felt like I've lived that dream because uh, when I was young, I used to get that that thing of deja vu, um, almost as if I visited a specific place before, um, and it, and it always sort of, sort of reminded me of of a dream or dreaming. Um, so that that's kind of been my my personal interpretation of of dreams, that sensation. That, that of having lived an event and then living it. Um, but for other people, um, and uh, I, I know people like so people have written books about it, it's, it's very specific to um, the dreams that you have, but I've never really felt that like that myself. What message would you give to the world, Tom? Uh, when it comes to dreams, um, it doesn't have to be the dreams you have when you're, when you're sleeping. You know, people dream about things anyway, so... Um, we're all dreamers, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. So keep on dreaming. Tom, as always, you're amazing. Thank you. Thanks, As we come to the end of this episode and we've been talking about decoding dreams and we have seen that dreams are a series of images emotions or thoughts that occur during sleep they can be wonderful or terrifying nonsensical or totally clear 
Dreams come in limitless forms and have endless meanings. Finally, researchers have concluded that stress, anxiety and sleep deprivation are the most common causes of nightmares in adults. So let's go and dream our dreams.